Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rocket League Week 7 of NIU versus Akron Esports. Akron is 11-0 and right now, and NIU is 6-6. Six and six. NIU has made the playoffs um, regardless of the game. Um, game's outcome. They'll be playing Akron again in the playoffs if they lose to them tonight, or they'll be playing Ball State if they win. I'm expecting a the, the most tough series for NIU today since Akron is going 11-0 throughout the season. Having a near, nearly perfect record, they can go perfect if they take away this series. Yep. But this is not going to be easy at all because Akron, as a collegiate team, qualified like top 32 in ROCS, and that is a difficult, difficult record to beat. That is true, and it looks like we're starting to join... Um, looks like they're, everyone's just trickling into the match right now. <laughs> everyone's joining the private match. And it looks like we're going to be underway. Oh, and it looks like they're not ready yet. Yeah, we got it. Sorry for some technical difficulties here, but uh, Akron's just um, getting all their players ready. Still gathering a lot of gathering around, just getting everything prepared as things seem to be not going our way to start <laughs> off. Yeah, even though it's the last week of the season, it's, everything's still a little bit scuffed. This kind of shows you the... Even though this is technically the last series, I don't know if Akron should just play this game relaxed. I definitely want to see them pop off, if I'm being honest. Yeah, me too. I'd like to play. I'd like to see them play with no fear. I like uh, we, uh, we've seen it before. All out. I like. I would like to see them try all out, especially NIU. This would be, this would be one to watch. I'd love to see some more from um, from uh, Sleaz not Sleazy. sleazy has been amazing all season, and so is um. So is Hertz. Hertz and Moxie, but I'd I'd love to see a little bit more from Hertz and Moxie as they um. As well, they go into the end of the season. Well, we know Sleazy is the best mechanical player, that I, in my opinion, for this team. Hurts right. is just the best game sense for this team. Yeah, I think they play really well together as a team. There might be a match glitch if these guys... Yeah, it looks like anyway. something is going wrong. <laughs> Sleazy just joining and leaving the game. Looks like we're just going to have to wait. Something's happening on Akron's side. I'm sorry for the delay. Our one viewer is <laughs> is being very patient with us. We appreciate <laughs> it. Well, who who qualified for top eight? If people have do not know about that, actually. What's up? Who actually qualified top eight? I know. Oh, it's sure. Accurate. I I actually have that. Ball State. So here are the standings as of last week. Um, Akron's the number one with eleven and zero. Ball State is eleven and one. Um, WMU is ten and one. Miami is ten and two. NKU is seventy five, and Kent State, NIU, and NEU are all tied six and six. For sixth place, you Buffalo and all the rest are not going to be in the playoffs because they are not top eight. Um, because NIU is tied for sixth, the lowest they can get is eighth, um, meaning that they did, in fact, uh, um, make it to the playoffs. So very, very, very good for NIU. Um, two unfortunate losses last week to put they would have been. They would have been at least top five. Yeah. Top six, top five. They would have been fifth or fourth, depending. 
No, they would have been. They would have been fifth. Yeah, they they would have been fifth if they've de- taken down Toledo, and right. if they have defeated Northeastern. And oh, and see, no, it, okay, everyone left the game. Let me just leave the game real the, quick. The server is, the server is having technical difficulties. Ah, they're getting their stream set up as well on their end, so we're so we're so sorry for the delay as well. <laughs> their stream is having a little bit of difficulties. Um, unlike us, we are always on top of it. <laughs> we have never been not on top of it. Um, that's sarcasm if you can't hear my voice. <laughs> All right, here we go. And yeah, these standings, um, Akron's been amazing all season. I'm actually really looking forward to, to watching them. I think we should be ready right about now if Tristan is staying. Here we go. Yeah, I think the guys And are this ready. is the start of game one. Uh, NIU is taking on Akron. Um, last, and a best of five. Last game for the for the open season and as Tristan takes it off the sidewall over to Buzz and Buzz gets an early goal that was uh only four seconds off the clock that's some team play right there everyone thought Tristan was going to touch that ball but he didn't and then Hurst just gets an unfortunate uh jump off the wall and doesn't get a touch on the ball yeah this this was not expected I did not expect a goal immediately in the f after kickoff but, you know, it's just the first goal. Things will start to pick up the pace. Yes, that is true. Petty with the ball. Taking it into their corner. Putting it down for his teammate. Tristan's up. Doesn't get an angle. Has it off the ceiling. Back over to Buzz. And Buzz off the crossbar. Sleazy going for uh, for uh, control. Tristan tries to get the angle. Doesn't get it. And clears the ball away with Tristan gaining. Tristan's there with boost. Ceiling pinch over to Buzz and double commit from Akron. See what Sleazy does with this. A little bit of pressure from him. Tries to get a bump. Over to Hertz. Hertz with oh, the opportunity. Close. Tristan with a musty. Ooh. Trying to get the double. Ooh, that was close too. <laughs> These guys are definitely going to be showing off mechanics today. I can already feel it. And Moxie with a shot on goal. Akron's there though. Oh, Akron gets it right over uh, the Northern Illinois defender and puts it in for, to go 0-2. Um, that is unfortunate. Akron is def definitely, in my opinion, living in NIU's head. Yep, for sure. And they are just faster right now. I think you, can, you can tell the speed of, of Akron is just way above. Like a Tristan completely beating Moxie for the Ooh. double touch, Ooh. almost getting it a crazy angle. Yeah, but the speed of, of Akron is just crazy. Moxie gets a demo. They might actually have a chance. Oh, just way wide for the pass, but Sleazy's trying to control the play. Yeah, Hurts couldn't get that angle, unfortunately. <laughs> Patty with an air dribble. Air dribble double tap. And puts it low, doesn't get it. They have time to recover. Tristan playing it back into his half. Sleazy weird off the wall. Doesn't get a good touch. Moxie's going to send it to their corner. He's trying to chase it with five boost. And Akron is in complete control of this game right now. As Tristan puts a shot on that, what great a save. save. What an amazing save. Ooh, Buzz gets a weird touch, putting it back over to Patty. Patty, Patty was can't not get high expecting enough. that, actually. Patty with control. Moxie has a touch, puts it over. It's Looks open. like it's open. It's open. A great oh. demo to get a goal for NIU. There you go. What That was actually a great defense play all around from NIU. The save from Hertz has clutched it up to for a counterattack. And they get the demo as well to get them uh, completely wide open. Well done. That was crazy good. That was a great play by NIU. I love to see some demos always. Demos are super satisfying when they work out in your favor. Not unless you're calm and getting 20 demos in one game if you watch that series. That was honestly one of the craziest demo plays I've ever seen in my life. I'll have to look it up. 
Patty over to the backboard, looking for a double, gets the double. That was just a great setup by Patty. Complete solo play. Look at that. Gets it right over Sleasley for a wide open backboard for a double tap. It's clean. To go up 3 1 over NIU. Akron is definitely taking advantage of their space and their mechanics to back it up, making it a difficult solo play to counter. Moxie with a demo. Give Hurts a little bit of time to play with. He can't turn around. He's looking for the pass, but his teammate is coming back. Buds with a back pass back to Patty. <laughs> Patty puts it downfield. It's easy with some time. Tristan's there, though. Buzz up for the shot. Off the ceiling. Gets a great read. Over to Patty. Patty sleazy takes control of it now. Has a 1v1 situation. Goes for, opt for a fake. Doesn't get it. That was a... That was a good that was a good pressure from Sleasley trying to fake the shot and almost gets a punish read for that. Oh, and Moxie got demoed. That was an so. almost awkward situation. They're looking for a pass now. Maybe even a shot. Great mm. save from Patty. It was a very good shot too. Great passing play. I'd love to see that more from NIU. The uh throughout the throughout the season they've been using more passing plays and I love to see it. Just uh I'm a sucker for some passes. <laughs> So he's just going to make a solo play. Probably get her flip reset. And Ooh. what a flip reset. That was clean. That was actually with power, too. Oh, what a great touch from Sleasley. And just gets the cleanest flip reset. Almost a no bounce here. What a, what a shot. He has shown, come up, he has come to play today. Oh, my gosh. That was two to three. This game is still. It's kind of relatively close. I'm impressed. Yeah. And this is exactly what, um. What the, the coach, NIU was, coach was talking for, yeah. yeah. He wanted it to be close. Oh, and then I go for Moxie. And that's all it takes. It's the 3-3 now with a minute and 17 left. And oh, my gosh. Sometimes you got to get lucky. And this actually, that was a great read by Moxie. And just that one Akron player just was in mid-flip. He couldn't control his car for that. And now <laughs> this is a much closer game. And honestly, the mechanics are definitely showing. And I'm, this is what I wanted to see out of this series. Patty with a flip reset. Moxie shutting that down as soon as he can. He's trying to make them awkward. He's getting outplayed. Akron's He's getting team play jumped. is just out of this world right now. What a They're using save. faking and passing like like no other team I've seen so far this season. And that's probably why they are 11-0 right now. We're waiting for a shot. Awkward, good save. Moxie's got a turn, good save. Uh, it's getting bumped, great save. NIU's defense has kept up from Akron's pressure. And another shot, great save. And if anyone's thinking Akron's not playing well right now, they are, oh. well, they are playing very well as they score. That was that was just an awkward situation, wh whoever was on the backboard there. Yeah, Saluzzi was on the backboard. Knew it was going to be a low oh. shot and just could not lift his car up that angle that's a great angle <laughs> i love those type of shots but um no akron definitely wants to win this series as soon as they can they do not want to lose their uh, perfect record um i mean no team ever does but they, they will not be taking anything off of niu right now and uh, that is a great flick from tristan getting over the last defender and it's just the net is just completely wide open there moxie went early for this challenge Knowing he was last man back, that was kind of a a one situation. If he if he actually took take a look around where his teammates were. Yep, and yep, yep. Now we are three to five. This game's looking like Akron's game to, to wait. Oh, Hurts gets a kickoff goal, four to five. Still a really close game. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Honestly, <laughs> they just need one more kickoff goal, and we're back to it. A tied situation. That was all hurts. It was a bad rotation by Akron, actually, because they uh, missed both boosts and then didn't didn't have anyone back. <laughs> it was an overall just a great kickoff for NIU. Oh, and Patty, yeah, Patty has a great shot here over to Tristan. That's that's just a great pass. And but NIU definitely did what they wanted to do. They they struck fear into Akron's heart right now as they kept it close the entire time, which not a lot of teams have done this season. Um, and this game, it just didn't work out for NIU, but I, f I feel like they could definitely take a couple games here. Yeah, if they actually just maybe pace themselves a bit, maybe not commit as much as the last man, and they could definitely make this game a whole lot closer as they're looking for a shot. Oh, his teammate just saves it right at the end. Man, 
That was a good game. I'd yeah. love to see what's next. That is a great game. That is a great first game, actually. What a way to start. I honestly thought this, this first game was going to go more heavily towards Akron, but NIU has definitely proved me wrong. I got to support my boys. They're definitely proving me wrong right now. And now as we're heading on to the second match in... In game two, in game two. Akron has taken a, Hertz taken has, a game. Hertz has changed his car, a tactical car maybe. He's going to not play the game as serious and just have fun with it. He is going for a couple bumps right now, right off the bat. I'd love to see it. I wonder what his strat is, is with that car. And Ooh. Great save from Hertz. That was a great position from him. And sometimes you just feel better with a certain car on a certain day. Like sometimes I just switch the switch to the um, octane when I'm not feeling Fennec, and it's like even though it's the same hitbox, they definitely feel different. I think it might be a I, mental I think, thing. I think this car is a Dominus hitbox actually, so that's an interesting choice. I actually never seen Hertz with like a Dominus like car. Yeah, might now, as well try something new. Akron's going for the shot because NIU is just nowhere to be seen in that play. Yeah, rotations so. broke down with that double commit there. Just left the. The net wide open for a Tristan shot. Akron's up 1-0. At least today did not score within four seconds. <laughs> that we're is still true. In, we're still in the first minute of the game. Now Sleazy's going to try to play, but Akron is going to pressure them in their corner. Tristan with a, with a backboard shot doesn't get a double there. Oh, that was almost a good pass from Akron, actually. The vision was there. Hertz tackles it on the back wall. Hertz Some has great good defense. control. He's trying to get around the last defender. Gets a demo. Actually, to get a trade demo. Patty's looking for a redirect. Sleazy, what a great save. And that might be in. But Moxie a, can get there. But a good save from Moxie. Buzz still, puts it back. Still leaving the net quite open, but he's taking control. That was a good flick. Double demo. It's a 2v2 situation. Now Sleazy is popping it around corner. Maybe he can make a play. Passing play. That was close. Patty gets it out of there, though. Moxie's going to try. Gets dunked. And what I love to see NIU doing is tackling early. They don't let Akron get anything set up just like As that. You see, yeah, he just took out the crucial player who was supposed to receive a pass there. NIU is trying to take out the second or third man when they're being pressured, which is honestly a key play style in threes. Yep. The first game, they didn't really do that as much, and now they're really starting to do it. They're starting to take away the first shot. And oh. what a redirect. Wow. <laughs> There's no defending that, though. That was a great shot. I think Akron was actually trying to bump NIU defenders there, if i actually seen that correctly, maybe. I don't know, but I, I thought I saw someone on pressuring them. But regardless, that was an insane redirect. Well played. Tristan looking for a shot because he's definitely hit those um, type of angles before. We've even seen it in this game already. I bet he's been doing it the entire season. There's a good 50. Tries to take a shot. It's just too wide. Sleazy, Sleazy. almost puts it in the net. It's a great challenge by Sleazy though. Yeah. Hurts out of the rotation. <laughs> rotating back. Moxie. Over to Sleazy. Sleazy misses. Well, there might be a problem for NIU. Uh, As Hertz no, gets they, it out. They recollect, but they don't know that Patty now has 100 boost. He's going to try to redirect that. Maybe an NIU attacker's up. Oh, and the oh. this, Patty's ability to just go up from any angle. You saw he was like backwards and awkward on the wall and just goes up perfectly backwards. It's just amazing to see. This and team is very good. Open net. That was a great save. Akron definitely plays well as a team together. They Regardless they go. of Akron's pressure, NIU's defense is definitely on top right now. They have, they probably made like a lot more saves than any other team uh, that Akron has faced. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there must have been a lot of blowouts for for Akron, and this is not one of them right now. And NIU doing very good to stay close. They're gonna need to get a goal here oh. soon though if they want to get. Oh, oh my God! Where did that come <laughs> from? What? That was just... 
Is they are keeping it close, and I love to see it. Oh my gosh! Oh my God, that <laughs> redirect was kind of nasty. That oh was my. nutty. That was kind of nasty. Oh my, that, dude, he just shut me up with that. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing to say about this. Just watch. Just look at that. It's beautiful. Hurts going for read off Patty. Oh, and a bump by Hurts. Oh, you oh, oh, almost got a double off the player. Hurts has got to take control now. You need to calm down a little bit. Just make sure that you play tight together as a team. Looking for a ground pinch. Doesn't get it. And now Tristan following Sleazy. Got the double demo. Hurts gets Hertz back in time. Patty's going to try to control. Uh, Hurts is actually was trying to pressure them right now, which is kind of working out their favor. But Buzz is just not going <coughs> to let that happen to him. Oh, there's just one guy back. Sleazy's going to try to make a play. <laughs> and NIU is definitely playing very more, like, really confident right now compared to um, the last week where they lost to um, a not not so they, great they, team, but like still a really, a really good competitor. They, but yeah, they're, no, they're, fair, they know we're accurate. But but this is a different NIU that I'm seeing. Like normally when you go into versus a, a top team, the nerves kicks in and you tend to play worse. But these guys are making it much closer. And I'm yeah, they're definitely playing up to their competition right now. Yeah. This is definitely the type of confidence they need for all of their games. Oh, and just unfortunate. Buzz gets it right past. You see that last game too, but they're start they're playing close to just one goal puts it away. And just an unfortunate touch from Moxie just gives it back to the Akron player and just gets an open net. And I use looking towards the game three right now. Kind of just pulling out. Kickoff favor for NIU. Gets denied, and that will be game. That's game two to Akron again. We will see um, a game three. NIU is looking to grab that from from NIU. I mean, Akron, yeah, Akron's looking to grab from but, but, NIU. But and so NIU far, from Akron. this is not a complete blowout. It's a two-goal no. game. And, to be honest, they were typically like by one goal lead throughout the whole match, except for like the last few seconds of the match. So this is still, to me, a very close games, per se. Maybe not series, but games are much closer. For sure, for sure. Very close. I I just, I love seeing Hurts. Wait, was that I, Moxie or Hurts? No, it was no, Hurts. That was, Hertz. That that, was that an was, amazing that shot. Was, was, oh, that my was gosh. crazy. And I think I think since NIU, they know their, their limits and they know their abilities. So I'm assuming they're going to bring on Gigi just to... Just to experience yep. what it's like to versus a top team. Yep, the coach was talking to me earlier, and he said if they go down 0-2, Gigi is coming in to play um, another match. Hopefully, get bring him to a win. But uh, any Gigi fans in the chat? In the chat, there you go. Oh, he he left the game. I don't know. He might be coming back. He's probably changing car. Yep. And we're all Gigi fans over here. Everyone loves Gigi. Yeah, everybody loves Gigi. That's my boy right there. Yes, sir. Um, We're still waiting on GG. Yeah, GG's going to have to join. I think I think there's technical difficulties with GG's PC. Cause yeah, the PC has been acting yeah. up the whole time. Yeah. And it looks like we're not going to be able to see GG. So NIU right now is going to be... <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, let, let me get you. Kickoff goal? Perfect. Two sorry seconds. for not showing the kickoff goal. That's it's on all, me. It's all right. <laughs> Two, two seconds, they beat Akron in kickoff goal record. <laughs> right. Yeah, they scored in four. We scored in two. Eat that, Akron. Um, but, yeah, no, NIU is definitely looking to get this game so they can put in Gigi and get him a, get him a game because Gigi's supposed to be in this game, apparently. Oh, they could have a second kickoff goal. Maybe looking for a pass. That was a good idea. So easy with some time here. Puts it off the back wall. Doesn't get anything out of it, though. Now we're looking at a Moxie downfield. Patty's there. Sleazy back up. Looking for a pinch off the side while Tristan's oh. there. That was actually a really good 50. Kind of just stalled in the, mo in the moment there. And Akron's playing completely in the corner right now, looking just to throw some shots every once in a while, but really trying to get NIU out of their rotation. Moxie with the pass over to Hertz, but Patty's there. Sleazily downfield. 
Buzz is there to take it back. Tristan, Tristan the down to the pass. teammate. Hurts reads the pass. They've been doing that very well. They've been taking away that pass um, very often. It's, it's really helping NIU stay close as they're actually up right now. Let's see how long they can keep it, though. As long as they keep Akron, Akron scoreless. And I shouldn't oh. have said anything. I am very sorry, Karma. Um, please don't hate me. From that from that <laughs> angle, I thought that hit perfectly crossbar and was going to go out. But that actually went in. That was actually kind of a crazy, crazy yeah. shot. There. That was like the only place he, they could have scored that. It's a great shot. Had it just been like one centimeter up or left, that would have not gone in. But he just got the perfect pixel. Tries to look for a redirect. Moxie trying to punish. And now Ooh, Hertz shot is the on last net. man back. Hertz Maybe using, a psycho. Hurts using all of his boost just to get back to that. Double commit on defense, but that's fine. As they save the ball. Looking for a pass downfield. Hertz is just going to be there, faking out one. Maybe getting a double tap. Sleazy's there. Great job by Sleazy playing very fast right now. Ooh. Oh, and another golden touch. Maybe that's a goal. Great save. Oh, hurts with a great save <laughs> off the off the ceiling of the of the goal. That's a goal potential. Oh, oh. good. good <laughs> I'm curling my toes and crossing my fingers every two crossing, seconds here. Crossing my fingers that we take this game so that I can see GG play. Sleazy trying to put it in. Moxie would. But some control there. Maybe has to pass it down. Akron oh, with a double a commit, fake. though. Man, Akron plays very well together. They play very confident on defense. They, they fake a lot on defense, which is um, a very yeah. useful tool. But you need to be very confident in your teammates to do that. Um, and they have definitely played together for a long oh. time, you can tell. All of NIU is stuck in one corner. That was, that was kind of a dangerous situation. Patty's up. Completely beats NIU. Looking for another. Doesn't get a third, though. So he's with some time, puts it back to his teammate, sets up Moxie for a shot. Moxie goes for a fake. Oh, gets the demo over to Sleazy. Sleazy, Sleazy takes it maybe. slow. Tries putting it high. Oh, Hurts with a shot. It's oh, a little bit wide. Nobody was there to get the, the final push. That was a good pressure, but now they have to relieve pressure. And another shot, great dunk. Moxie is going way too early for these. And not a lot of teams do this to Akron right now. NIU is looking very good right now. One to one. This could be an opportunity. Tristan's there though. Moxie off Tristan's hit. Maybe off the pass ceiling. Down. Ooh, that was a pinch. Sleazy running back. That was a good 50. Buzz takes control of it, puts it into the corner off the ceiling. <coughs> There's a low, low shot, but not enough power. And then you're looking to put some more pressure on here. They're looking to get a goal now. They've kept it close Moxie the entire game, and now they're looking favor. to score. Oh, and just just a few centimeters off from getting a shot. Sleazy's trying to, trying to beat Buzz, and he's pushed he, away. He beat Buzz, just not enough for to get past Tristan. Tristan, Tristan right over the NIU defender. Oh, and just could not seal it away. It's a great pass by Tristan to his teammates. Sleazy takes control of that ball. Takes it right away from Tristan. Oh, and just perfectly gets gets it over. Patty with the redirect. No, can't. Oh, Buzz gets a demo. You see Soul City in the in the chat. Maybe Love to this see is it. open. This is open. Oh, and just hits the corner. But they, they're still alive. They're still alive in this series. They just need one to get one into their record books. Oh, man, it's like 15 seconds left, and they're really trying not to let, let this go into overtime because usually in overtime, the better team usually gets the score. And right now, the record shows that Akron is a better team. And they might, we might go to overtime, not unless someone scores a zero-second buzzer. And Patty putting it to the back oh. wall over to Hertz. Oh, Hurt. Back to Patty. No. No. Oh, that's it. Oh. That's oh, that's that is this is Rocket League. That's yeah, that's that, all you gotta say about the, that. That's the zero. Oh. that's the zero second mark. This Man. is Rocket League. And that's game three to Akron. They they played Akron played very well, but NIU also matched them very well. They they did match them. This is what the coach wanted, and honestly, this was not a blowout. This is not a blowout. This the we did 
NIU did exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to keep it close. They wanted to they wanted to um, have the opportunity to win, and they definitely had that at the end. But um, Akron just showed that they were just too too well too good of a team to take that game. Yeah. Um, we will be having an interview after this because this is the last week before playoffs. We'd love to hear what they have to say about um about their thoughts and I, ideas. I, I but think we should bring in uh, the coach. To what his thoughts of Akron and we'll we'll see what we'll see what um what they want to do and we'll be right back. Okay, thank you. All right, we're back, and the player that we're interviewing is Sleasley. Welcome. How's it going? All right, so after to after today against Akron, how did you feel about uh, th this series? Uh, this series, we I, honestly, I was expecting it to be a lot bigger of a difference. I thought we were going to get clapped like five nothing each game, but mm -hmm. you know, we held our ground. You know, I know we took the three zero, but that they, they were they were all close games. I feel like we could have won any one of them. Yeah. And the fact that you know they're probably the best team in the conference, one of the best teams in the country, and we were able to keep up with them just shows how, how fierceful how fierceful we are and how how much we've grown since the beginning of the season. Yeah, you guys definitely have developed a lot, considering the fact that. We were also predicting that these these were going to be like a blowout games, but you guys definitely had like momentum and definitely had a play style that was counter counter attacking a lot against Akron. And I was really impressed by that flip reset goal. Like, were, were you expecting to have like a like a clean shot there? See, honestly, I kind of improvised because it was either I go for the flip reset and get absolutely dunked, or I f scoop it over one of them, or I take the fifty and it can go either way. So honestly. You know, when you're going for those types of situations, you want to improvise and see what the best option was. And I chose the flip reset and got the scoop over him. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a crazy shot. And now that that uh, open season is officially ended, now that we have playoffs, there your match again for your first will be against Akron. And considering that you guys now have played each other and, and it's pretty close, um, do you believe you will actually finally take some games the next time you see Akron? Honestly, from what happened today, I feel like there is a small chance that we could 
go past them, but it is very unlikely. But I have faith in our team. I have faith in the guys that I've played with for like an, a, almost a year now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with Akron, it's just kind of difficult to kind of understand how they play because, you know, they're just pre-jumping everything. They're just going for random stuff that you don't expect anyone to go for yeah. around, like, our rank that we're at right now. Right. So to anticipate that for next week, I think we know how they play now. So judging by how we play and how we adapt to their play style, I think we're going to be golden for next week. And, you know, maybe we'll be able to win the series. Yeah, I mean, overall, ending with a record of 6-7 is not terrible considering it's almost even, but... Um, you guys definitely have like really good potential, especially if you guys are going to be a team again next year. Honestly, it was the fact that we had so many close series this year that could have went either way. Yeah. So the f- it could have been a different record, but our record is not what we stand for. You know, we're yeah. a better team than what our record shows. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the record does not always show like how you will play. I mean, that's for example, like a Toledo series. Like we don't talk about that. Yeah, but but. It's just a good example. Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. So, yeah, um, any any final shout-outs, thoughts that you want to say to stream? Uh, shout-out to everyone on my Rocket League team for, you know, being the great teammates that they are. Shout-out to uh, Phi Sigma Kappa for coming out and supporting me every week. You know, I love my guys. Um, you know, shout-out to uh, Rocket League for, you know, being this uh, popular for the most couple of years to allow <laughs> me to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, and, thank uh, you for having me. Yeah.